friends, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel, Fira, where we talk about all things cruelty-free beauty, gothic fashion, and lifestyle. If this sounds awesome, click that subscribe button. So today's video is a back-to-school, beginner-friendly um, gothic makeup tutorial. This was requested by some baby bats of mine. Hi, girls. And so basically, I'm just going to be bringing you a really easy, beginner-friendly tutorial on a simple gothic makeup look that's appropriate for work, uh, that's appropriate for school. I've already primed my eyes with Ofra's eyeshadow primer and I set it with my Cosette Beauty setting powder and I tight lined my upper waterline with a NYX black eyeliner and pencil. I have oily hooded lids, which means that if I don't use eyeshadow primer, my eyeshadow is gonna be gone in 20 minutes. Now, when I was in high school, I didn't know about eyeshadow primer, didn't wear it, so if I did my makeup, um, which wasn't gothic, it would not, you know, it wouldn't last, it wouldn't stick around. So for eyeshadow today, I'm going to be using the Stila Suede Eyeshadow in, I think it's called Smoky Silk. And basically, you're just going to do a single wash of color and blend it out. So I'm painting this color onto my lid, and then I'm going to reach for a Sigma E25, which is a blending brush, and just start to blend this out. This is called the Essential Crease Brush. So I just like to use this just to make sure the edges are nice and blown out. Put the color onto the brush, and then use the brush to apply the color along my lower lid. And I do go all the way across. And I'm going to use this Physicians Formula Matte Black Pencil at the upper lash line. And you don't have to put it on neat, just kind of get like a nice line up there along the upper lash line and we're gonna smudge it. We're basically gonna smudge it and smoke it upwards. And you don't have to do the eyeliner at all if you don't want to. The other thing that you could do is if you are comfortable doing like a cat eye, you could do a cat eye or a wing and wing it out. Milk Makeup Mascara is my favorite. I did want to try the NYX On The Rise Mascara because everyone has recommended this as the best drugstore mascara to me. Pull it in a little bit so you can watch me put this on. Now I have a lash lift and if you don't know what that is, I'm going to insert a link up here to my video that tells you the differences between a lash lift and lash extensions. I'm going to use LA Girls Brow Pencil in black. Um, if you don't, you know, if you don't want to wear black, don't, don't wear black for your brows. I personally love black. But LA Girl has a nice brow pencil. So does um, NYX. You can get some good ones from NYX. I've heard good things about CoverGirl, but I don't know if they have a black. And for me personally, I just prefer to do black or like an ashy gray in my brows. I don't like brown. A lot of times because of my cool, cool yellow skin tone, um, brown brow products turn orange and I do not think that looks pretty. That is definitely not my idea of a pretty, pretty brow on me is orange. The LA Girl Brow Pencil is the least expensive, best performing brow pencil I have found since ColourPop when they got rid of my Jet Set Black. So I'm actually going to grab this blush, which is NYX Sweet Cheeks Blush and So Taupe. And I'm going to use a super, like uh, the small little super fluffy crease brush thing. And I'm lightly putting product on here, tapped off the excess, and I'm just going to work this through the crease. And any sort of slightly shimmery taupe will do this for you too. I just feel like it needed a little bit more than just the, the single gray eyeshadow. So after I think I have my eyeshadow where I want it, what I like to do is take a really, really big brush like this. This is the Delium Tools 747, 787, sorry, 787. And I just like to kind of like swirl it on my crease to make sure everything's nice and blended out. It looks so good. I'm actually going to put it on my lower lid too, just to kind of help tie the look together. And I'm using the Sigma E20. I like to glow because I have dry skin. When I was in school, I had oily skin. In fact, I had oily skin until I was about 30, 35. So I would say if you have oily skin, you should use a face primer that's suited for oily skin. I know NYX makes a lot. I'm actually going to use the NYX Away We Glow, which is more like a uh, like illuminating primer. This product honestly reminds me of MAC's strobe cream, which I used to love. Um, back in the day when I bought MAC, before MAC was no longer cruelty free, I loved that strobe cream. And it would give me like this pink tint, which I kind of think, you I feel like you can kind of see it probably even on the camera from the NYX product. Gives a little bit of a tint. And I'm going to use the NYX Born to Glow foundation, but again, if you have oily skin, NYX has um, a line of matte foundation, which would be great for you, I think. 
Um, I'm going to use the shade Pale, and I'm just going to dot it around the center part of my face. This is very, like a pale yellow, pale neutral cool yellow. It gives me pretty much flawless coverage in one coat, which is great. So I love, I love that. So I'm gonna take that same taupe color from NYX, which is called So Taupe from the new Sweet Cheeks line. And this NYX brush, which is actually a number 39, I bought this from Ulta. And I'm gonna use this to start kind of like contouring my cheeks or give my cheeks some color. And this brush is like, it, I love how it's shaped. It's like angled and kind of thin. So it makes it perfect, in my opinion, for applying contour or bronzer. And so I just basically put that on my cheek and I'm gonna blend the edges, making sure that I have it like where I want it to go. But I love how that just gives me like really nice definition. That's what I'm looking for. Now you could absolutely stop there in the cheeks if that's all you wanna do, but I am gonna add a tiny little bit of color and this is the NYX Sweet Cheeks blush and the shade Fig. So it's kind of like a, a cool plummy shade. Sigma Small Contour, the F5 to apply the blush like right here. And that's really it. Like just right there in that corner, or <laughs> this part of like the outer part of my cheek is where I'm gonna put it and call it a day. Okay, so I wanted to show you a couple different lip options for this like gothic look. So NYX has a full line of lipsticks of an all different colors. The color that I particularly like for gothic looks is called Smoke Me, which is like this lilac gray beige type color. Color I have to show you is Geek Chic Grimmer and it's just a pure black. That's classic for any gothic makeup look. Anytime you wear a dark color, I'm going to tell you, you should absolutely use a lip pencil to make your edges nice and crisp. So I just use the Urban Decay lip pencil to crisp up, crisp up the lines for my black lipstick from Geek Chic. Is Necromancy Cosmetica Lestrange. And Lestrange is sort of similar to Smoke Up, except it's more like, I'd say, like beigey brown toned, like sort of like naked lip lips type look. All right, so that wraps up this tutorial. I had so much fun creating this beginner gothic makeup look tutorial for you baby bats, and I hope you love it. Please be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share. If you don't like this video, hit the thumbs down and tell me why in the comments below. If you're wondering what to watch next, YouTube is going to suggest something special just for you, and I'll see you in my next video.